Welcome back guys for another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you the filters that I have set up in my aquaponics system. They're not entirely done yet, but if you see my last video, I was talking about changing some of the setup up, moving things, some things around. So before I do any of that on the filters, I do just want to show you how they are set up right now and what is done on them basically. So let's get to that. So I basically have two sets of filtration systems on this particular aquaponics system. I have the three over here and then the four filters on that side, which I'll show you after I go over these. Well, they're pretty much the same kind of setup or slash design, but basically in this filter right here, it is a radial flow filter. I actually do have the, whatever you call it, set up inside it. If I can take off this lid. So also right now I kind of use them as tables for stuff, but this radio flow filter is set up. I do have the, I don't even know what you call these things, but you got this baffle over here or the circular pipe plus the pipe where the water goes down. So the water is entering from here at a swirl and then the water swirls around in here. And this pipe right here is supposed to allow solids to settle. So basically as solids go over here, they go down and then the clean water comes back up and goes out through here. The only problem though is that my, well, you do have some solids down there, but the problem with my filters is that my water flow is too high which is what i actually wanted i want my water flow to be pretty good because the more flow of water you have through these systems which means the more waste is getting removed from the fish and going towards the actual grow beds and stuff like that but for these size tanks that water flow is too high which is kind of unfortunate so i will have to do something about that to allow these filters to work better but basically this is the first form of filtration which is basically to settle solids out or to settle the bigger solids there's a solid filtration called a radio flow filter kind of a mixture of a radio flow filter and a swirl filter as you can also do there's many different styles that you can do but this is the one i'm using right now so that is that one fairly simple to set up and then from this one it goes into this filter right here which is not done yet i do actually have the media and everything to put in it so basically this is a moving bed biofilter or bioreactor, whatever you want to call it. So there's a bunch of media in there or bio balls or which allows a lot of surface area for bacteria to attach to. And then you have an air stone in there which is circulating all the bio media which is allowing dead bacteria to fall off and then new bacteria to populate. So it's just a living ecosystem in there devouring the fish waste and converting that into nutrients. But it's not entirely set up yet since I haven't got to it. But I do have the media which is in this bag here. Plus I have a bunch others but it looks like this. It's K2 Biomedia. I have like 10 cubic feet right now or 9 cubic feet. We'll see how much I need to put in each of them. But there's some there plus some more media in those boxes. But that will go in this filter. And then the general concept as I did mention. I'll show you when I do finish setting these guys up which will be hopefully sooner rather than later i'll show you it but it will have an aeration down there which will vigorate it and then all the rest of the solids will come into this one so these are all the same tanks which are all conical tanks i got them used on craigslist or secondhand basically on a secondhand website but the idea is i'll have moving bed or media in here and then the rest of the water will go out from the bottom. I'll have to put some kind of screen there so the media doesn't go out from there. It does float. But then from this tank, it goes down here and out through uh, down here and up into this other filter over here. I do have some valves and stuff which I can turn to empty things if I need to. And then this filter, it's also kind of like a radio flow filter. But I'll put either more media in here or like what I have right now, some sponges and stuff. But just more of that. That way it catches finer. Solids are basically the small stuff from here. We'll get captured into here and settle down. It's hard to make out, but you can kind of see it at the bottom. You do have a good amount of gunk down there. And then from here, it goes, well, the water's coming up from here and then going down. And then from here, it goes out to there and into this grow bed. So that's the one side of filtration. And those are like the three general filters that you would need an aquaponic system. The first is to catch bigger solids and then you want to have like a moving bed biofilter. You can have like four if you wanted to. So the the bigger solids that that you the first filter would be the bigger solid filter. Then you can settle that out. Then the second one could be like a moving bed biofilter, which is 
moving all the media. The third one could be just a, uh, a filter filled with the biomedia, but it's not moving. And then the fourth one can be another mechanical filtration, kind of like the radio flow filter mixed with a whole bunch of media and stuff like that. But generally those are the three typical ideas of filtration that you'd be putting in an aquaponics system. And there's always different designs or different variations you can do. But this is the one side and the other side, I have basically the same thing or same concept. You got your radio flow filter, which is also set up already. These layers are so hard to take off. So I have the radio flow filter over here. Also the issue with this side is the water flow is too fast, so it doesn't really sit out too well in here. So I also put some uh, sponges and stuff in here to help with that. And then this one will be a moving bed biofilter, but same with the other side, haven't put the media in yet. Since I'm still figuring out how I want to do the aeration or get the aeration here. But same concept, I will have to block that bottom off and put the media in here. But you can see how quickly that water is moving. It's creating a little vortex in there. Which is pretty neat, to say the least. <laughs> which keeps this tank fairly clean though. Which is not the purpose of that. But then from this one, it goes and splits off into these two. The nice thing about this side compared to that side is that it splits off into these two and by splitting off into these two different tanks which will also be radial kind of radio flow filters or mechanical filters with a bunch of stuff in there i already have the stand pipes or the the um the circular things to surround it just like that cut already to go in there but as i was mentioning since it does split off into two different spots the water flow slows down a good amount to cause a lot of solids to settle. So, let's see if you can actually notice or see. It's kind of hard to make out. But typically these tanks are white or you have green at the bottom. But there's like a good inch of solids just settle at the bottom in both of these two tanks. Already, even though I don't have a the radio flow filter set up or anything in there. Just because the water slows down a lot. And how it's set up right now is the water's coming from the bottom and then it has to make its way up and then out through here to these grow beds and out through there to that grow bed over there. And because the water is slower, the solids are allowed to just settle on the sides and everything, which is a nice thing about this particular side compared to that side over there. I actually did have another tank that I wanted to set up on this side, so I ha would have two over here when I was initially putting these things, but there wasn't enough space, unfortunately, unless I wanted to like squeeze by in a foot area, which wouldn't be so nice. I mean, I could always attach it later on if I wanted to, which isn't too hard, but that's, the, that's that on that side. But yeah, it's fairly simple to set up. And the general idea, it can be used in any setup. You can use smaller five gallon buckets and all the conical tanks are nice just because it allows solids to settle at the bottom a little better. But there's many ways to set these filters up. This is just how I have it set up on this particular aquaponics system. And they do have drains and stuff on each of them so that I can clean them out when they do have a bunch of stuff settled at the bottom. Also later on, I will run pipes along the side of the greenhouse which will allow me just to hook them up to that and drain them out. So it's nice to have those, that way you can just do it easily. Or I might even just get like a separate pump or something and set up kind of like a pond vac where I can just stick it in here and suck it up and put it out. And when I do take all that solid waste out, the idea would be to put it either just to water the garden or have another separate tank set up outside of the greenhouse somewhere in like this general area over here maybe even just right here or something where i can basically make some compost tea or some aquaponic tea in a like a mineralization tank which will allow a lot of nutrients to be able to water use on the garden which doesn't have much plants yet right now just some cover crops to supply nutrients for when my mom plants plants in the summer again now that a good amount of the plants are removed, you can see the gunk at the bottom better. 
kind of. Oh, there you go. Sabella's in this one. Well, there you can see a comparison of the side with gunk and a side without gunk. I just sucked some of that stuff up and stuck it in this bucket. Well, there you have it. That's all for this video. I just wanted to basically show you the filters before I do change anything up. If I do change things up, which I'm still going through plans and ideas and if I wanted to do that. But other than that, I will go into more depth on a particular filter and how I do it later on. Um, when I have them completely set up and they're working properly. But that's the general idea of how my filtration is set up on this aquaponic system. Which people have asked in comments in previous videos. So if you do have any questions or comments, remember as always to leave them below. Um, any suggestions or stuff like that, always appreciate it. And otherwise, have a good day. Thank you for watching.